Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Cali Case waterproof phone pouch review. Cali Case sponsored this video, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. I actually reached out to them because I was looking for a GoPro alternative, a waterproof camera, something like that to be able to shoot at water parks and pools and beaches this summer. I don't know if you've looked at the waterproof action cameras, but they are expensive. Not to mention, if you have one of those, you have a great camera that's waterproof, but what about your phone for making calls? and text so um, I thought if we have a waterproof phone case maybe that can be protecting the phone and using the phone as our camera and video camera but uh, I don't know how well they're gonna film and I don't know how the sound quality is gonna be so I'm gonna do this review with you guys and uh, hopefully this can help you make your decision about whether you should upgrade to an action camera or if a simple waterproof phone case is all you need so let's go. So we got two sizes. I got the universal size and I got the extra large size. I have a Motorola G stylus and my husband has the iPhone 12. So I'm gonna be able to test both of these phones for you and mine's in a big fat OtterBox case. And they have tons of colors to choose from, even some glow in the dark, which this is what I got, the glow in the dark pink. Hey ho, glow in the dark alert. Got a nylon lanyard with the lanyard clip. And then here is the case. It's thin, it's padded actually, and it's got the see-through on the front and back, which supposedly you can navigate through it, which I'm counting on because to be able to use your camera uh, to take pictures and videos, you need to be able to touch the screen, right? So I think you, there we go, unlocked. You just do that, open it up, and there we go. Now we are open, ah, ha, 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 ha. It recommends to do a waterproof test first before you put your phone in there and risk your phone. First you do a paper towel in there and make sure that it is watertight because you never know. So they float, is it gonna fit? It's not, I have to take the case off. Now we're without the case, this is my Moto G stylus. Okay, without the case, it fits easy peasy. And you can see the three cameras back there and the camera here. I'm not able to activate my phone just by pressing it, but if I do my side button, there we go. And boom. So you can't do the fingerprint unlock obviously, but you just do your code. You gotta press hard. <laughs> But it all works, okay, and then camera. Oh, there we go. It looks good, the quality is good. It's through plastic, but you can't tell on here anyway. Okay, I'm gonna start filming and see how the sound is. Let's see. Here we are on the, uh, on the selfie side recording. How's the sound? I don't know, the picture looks good. And here is the other side. Uh, hi, whoop whoop. <laughs> and uh, let's see what's going on outside. I wonder how the sound is. Now, now this is good mode for uh, YouTube, right? The landscape. Here is my husband's iPhone 11. With the case, it's also struggling to go in with the case. So if you want to keep the case on, I would say get the extra large for sure. There you have the iPhone 11. You see the two video cameras are perfectly visible there in the back and in the front. Oh my God, I'm really impressed with the sound quality. I thought for sure you wouldn't be able to use the sound while it was in the case, but uh, it records well. The speakers are fine, so you can have a phone conversation. You can record with sound. Um, it's freaking awesome, guys, and it has the lanyard. Kind of cool on the lanyard clip, it actually locks into place. So you have to unlock it to put it on the phone case and then put the lanyard strap in there. And then you lock it so it can't accidentally come undone. That's really nice safety measure there. And then, it around your neck and then you wear it around your neck. So I'm 5'8", it's hitting me around the belly and uh, and then you're just ready to go. <laughs> this is so awesome, I can't wait to take this to the water park. All right, we are back. We spent 
a whole seven hours at the water park. Uh, link in video description to see that full coverage. It was amazing and these were awesome. Overall, I highly recommend these. The bang for your buck is amazing. The main issues I encountered, the first one I kind of knew was going to happen because when I tested it at home, I had this issue. And the problem is the screen sensitivity, because you can touch through this, my phone and my husband's phone, so both the Motorola and the iPhone, the record button was triggered by the water. Meaning if we started filming above water and then we went below water, it turned off. And if we started below water and we went above water, it turned off. And if you're on a water slide or something where you're going like in and out of the water, it was, it's impossible to film. My videos, when I got home and was looking through the data, I had a bunch of, of videos that were like zero or like one second long because it just, it kept turning itself on and off record. And I'm like, oh, really frustrating, but there's really no way around it unless you have a function on your phone where you can turn off the screen function and have it only functioning by voice or by the side button maybe but the screen function it just kept turning on and off and i have a ton of pictures where it was just taking pictures on its own <laughs> so um that is my main complaint but for the average user, it's really not a big issue. Uh, if you know it's a problem, you're looking out for that. So when I was filming my kids and I wanted to film them underwater, I had to very carefully put it underwater and like, look, it's really hard to see the screen when you're above water and it's underwater, but I could see it wasn't filming. And then at underwater, I'd push, you have to push really hard, push it to start filming, and then tell my kids to go underwater and start capturing. It's really nice to have your phone with you and to have it be the only device that you need. So I was using this, I stuck my locker wristband in here, I stuck my credit card in here, I had to put my phone without its own case to fit in here, but my husband fit everything in his extra large case. To have only this at a water park or the beach or whatever, carrying all your essentials, like that's really awesome. Do I wanna spend a lot more money to also have to carry the little action camera I don't know, I think I'm gonna just continue with this. Especially for the casual mom and dad or whoever out there, this is a great bang for your buck. And the quality was amazing. <laughs> I will say, towards the end of the day, my videos and my pictures are really foggy. And looking at the case now, it's really gross. I thought it was fogging up, but now that I'm examining the case, it's just dirty from sunscreen. Something to keep in mind is that you maybe want to keep monitoring that it's clean. Otherwise, you're going to have gross pictures that are not clear. This didn't happen to my husband's camera, maybe because I was the one doing sunscreen for everybody. So my hands were gross and then I was touching this all over. So I think that's what happened. So be careful with that. These are amazing. I highly recommend them. Link in video description for my affiliate link. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Are you using one of these cases or have you upgraded to a GoPro or a DJI or, or one of those action cameras? If you have any tips or recommendations for the rest of us, you can hit me up over on the community tab or over on Instagram, US Japan Fam, or Facebook. Be sure to subscribe for more reviews and fun stuff with our family. Bye.